Alright, so it's me, Solid Nate, or just Nate, doesn't matter. Uh, we're playing through Sonic 1. Uh, hopefully I showed you the mechanics of this level, like, right before we started. So basically in this Let's Play and the following, I'm gonna just show you how to not be bad at this game, be good. Not promising I'm gonna do good on Sonic 3, that's for sure. Uh, but that, yeah, that's it. Simple, simple little video. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go through each zone, each zone per video, one zone per video. All three acts, and yeah. It's gonna be a, tr I'm gonna, listen, I'm not good at commentating by myself, even less so without, like, an audience. Only time I've streamed, I haven't streamed in ages, since like 2020 maybe? Wow. You could stream all the time back in the day. Alright, let's just go with the flow of this game. I'll think of stuff as we go on, but this is just Green Hill Zone. It's a very easy level. It's not too hard. I'm going to try and get the good ending for all four of the games. Especially Sonic CD. I know a good way to get the good ending in, the so in Sonic CD. I'm not going to go for all the time. Not all the time. I'm not going to go for all the roboticizers, but yeah. Anyway, uh, if you get 50 rings, you can go into a special stage. That's common knowledge. You could do that in Sonic CD, too. I think the other Sonic games that you could do it in is like... I don't know if it's Sonic Rush. You could do Sonic... In Sonic Pocket Adventure, you have to get like 50 rings to enter the... into the special stage. That's a thing. That's a thing. I don't like these special stages, though. I don't like these special stages, though. I could be good at Sonic, but I'm not good at the Sonic 1 special stages. Ugh. Man. It's a hell of a game. So, did you guys know that Green Hill Zone was one of the first levels made for this game? It's crazy, right? It took them like half of the game's process to get Green Hill Zone. And yeah, you can tell. Usually this, usually game designers, what they do is that they do the first area last. Because like, that's the first part of the game that's going to have the most impact on you. So, which makes sense. Alright, so we're in Act 2 now, out of 3. And I'm not sure if anybody knows this, but here's a little small thing you could do. You, you jump down here, get some shield, get a shield, some rings, some speed shoes too. You do this, and using your speed, this works in the original, you could jump up here. There's, an there's another way to get up there, there's like a spring at the bottom, but yeah, th that's my preferred way of getting that extra life. I guess coin? Yeah, coin. Yeah, since I'm in Origins, there's a coin system. Coin system, I already unlocked everything, so the coins are pretty much useless now. Uh, so I'll just be doing my best during each playthrough, I think I repeated myself already. Uh, damn, should have done this with somebody. At least got in Gabriel and Eric on. You know, this game's only an hour long, though. This is gonna be a fun time, though. I'm gonna have fun editing this, hopefully. Go do! Oh! When you do that in the Genesis version, the ring glitches out for some reason. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess because it took a minute to load in. But yeah. <sighs> on to the next special stage. So, I don't like these special stages for one reason. They tilt. In all honesty, I kind of prefer the Genesis special stages. I mean, yeah, they're the same, but like, the tilt's a bit more choppier. Makes it easier to make some jumps. I don't know, it might be just me. Listen, rat poison is still bad for you, and so is like, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is, it's shit, but it's not as stinky of a shit. You know, in the prototypes of this game, the one prototype of this game, you have to rotate with like the other buttons. You have to do that for Sonic 4 too, which Sonic 4, I'm not touching that game. I have it on my Wii. I could always buy Sonic 4 on PS3, Sonic 4 Episode 2. You could get it on Steam, I'm pretty sure. You could get it anywhere, basically. Yeah, I wouldn't touch Sonic 4. It's just not a good game. It's like... You know, yeah, let's talk about Sonic 4 while I'm here, while I'm at it. So basically Sonic 4, it started off as Sonic the Portable. You could 
see that in Casino Street in that game. And yeah, it started off as Sonic the Portable, but they wanted to advertise it as Sonic 4. Sonic 4, it's just bad. It's like the worst things in the series mushed together. Autom automated levels. Oh, oh god, I missed this little thing. Uh, but yeah, automated levels. What else? Automated levels. But ugly, that's for sure. Especially the Wii version. Nah, no, they're all ugly. Uh, what else would you... Uh, uh, Sonic 4 is... I can't think of any reasons outside of it being bad right now, but yeah, it's bad. It's Stinky, stinky. Get the poo poo. I don't like Sonic 4 because it straight up copies other zones, right? But it doesn't say it doesn't admit to copying zones like in Mania. And Mania usually adds like a lot of things. Splash Hill Zone is just straight up Green Hill Zone, and if you go down there, I forgot to say that, but if you go down there, you get the extra shit. It's, that's in Mania too. Uh. <clears throat> Back on ta topic, but like, it's like Mania. Mania, Mania is good. Mania is amazing. Yeah, it's automated. Dash panels everywhere. It's like forces. It's the two D equivalent of forces. But here's the thing: I would rather play Sonic Forces than any of the Sonic Four games. Cause like forces, I'll say this about forces: it, it's a bad game. But like, it's like a dead punch. It'll last like three hours long. Sonic 06, Sonic Boom, those games are unfinished. Those games are just straight up unfinished. Like, I don't know how people can say, Ooh, I took the better than the for the it with the 06. No, have you played 06? Dear God, 06 is boring. Like, I played the first level. That was like the first half hour of the game. It was so boring. You know what's fun though? Sonic Adventure. I love Sonic Adventure. And look, look we just beat the first boss. Pretty sure he was called the Egg Wrecker. Uh, not that I remember to edit his name in, show off his stuff, I guess. Alright, that's it for Green Hill Zone. Hope everybody has a nice night. That was a pretty cool video. Uh, on to Marvel Zone, I guess.